So what we have here is a computer laptop that has some of the keys that work, some of them don't. Um, in particular, I found that T didn't. Um, several of the numbers, I think, uh, was 3 through 5 didn't work. And a couple others. Um, but it was mostly right along this top row. Now, it's kind of odd for a key just to kind of stop working on one of these, let alone a whole bunch of them. What generally happens when you have a whole bunch of keys that stop working is that the laptop keyboard itself has become unseated uh, with the ribbon cable in here. So I went ahead, undid our keyboard by undoing our latches at the top. You just push these guys in. You know, the, the sliders, they go that way. Just push them in, pull it up. I like good stuff. Got it out of here. Went ahead and took a look at the connector here. It was in here pretty decent, I thought. So I went ahead, took the connector out, took a look at it. And I've cleaned it off. But I noticed on one of the connectors, right there in the middle, was this tiny, tiny little green dot. Now what that green dot is, I'm not entirely sure, but it most likely was a little bit of corrosion. So what I went ahead and did is I took, just like I said in another video on cleaning electrical contacts, took my pink eraser, I've gone through, brushed it a few times to get it nice and clean, set my keyboard to the side, take my can of air, because unfortunately we can't get inside of this connector to clean that out. So the only way we can do it is a little gust of air. If there's any stuff in there, just kind of hoping that it comes out. Keep your bottle 90 degrees to the object you're doing. Hello. And that way you don't get any of the liquid coming down. Because if you do like this, like I said in my safety video on these cans of airs, Pointing them down, you get the liquid coming out, you can freeze parts of your board. And anytime you've had it down, just give it a couple squeezes, make sure there's nothing in it. A couple bursts there. And since just there's a little bit of stuff on here itself, go through do that. We have access to the fan. I'll go through and do that separately, but you know, go through, give it a couple bursts of air in it. Be sure to hold the fan in place to prevent it from spinning. But I'm going to hook this back up and we'll see what we're going to get. There we go. Went ahead, started up, opened up Notepad, was able to type everything in there. My start button works, all the keys work, Alt key works, Control key works, all that good stuff. Spacebar, all kinds of fun stuff. So, all those problems. With this keyboard. The connection looked solid. I did go ahead and reseat it anyway, obviously. But I suspect all those problems are due to that tiny little speck there. That little thing blocking a single connector. And so much goes wrong. Pretty simple. Well, until next time, if you got any questions, feel free to post them below, send an email send a message uh, either way works and uh, until next time I'll see you later